we're back. Alright, so this is called Five Steps for a Happy Life, right? And this was posted, by the way, on IG by Princess Zahara. And she's also a subscriber to our channel and stuff. So shout out to Princess Zara. I see she was in one of them Zen thing there. And it resonated with me. That's why I took the topic and said we needed to do a video on it. Alright, so we just went over love yourself. Mm -hmm. Alright, if we left out anything on any of these, please feel free. Leave it in the comment section below. Moving right along. The second one is... Harm no one. Harm no one. Harm no one. Let me jump on the one there first. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of people like to go around harming people and thinking that nothing is going to come of it because karma only works one way and it only works for the people you want it to work against, right? When the truth of the matter is, karma comes around for all of us. So the best way to live your life actually is to harm no one because if you harm people, naturally harm is going to come back to you somewhere, somehow. Mm -hmm. There are some people that purposely go out of their way to harm people. And then some people accidentally harm people. I mean, I know about accident. Because one of my subscribers said, I don't ever make, this is deep. One of my subscribers said, I don't ever try to make excuses or try to rationalize why a sane adult did something that they did. Whatever they did is something that they wanted to do. To what extent? I, I, no, I'm on. To what extent? To what extent? If you're angry and irrational, you do stuff out of anger, and it's not probably you're not sane per se in that instant. No, that's excuses. That is an excuse. Yeah, that's why yeah. it's important to balance yourself. That's why it's important to. And I'm not. And again, I'm not <laughs> over here trying to be perfect because we all get mad and we all do and say things out of anger. I'm not no Zen master. <laughs> but uh, oh yeah, I try to say. <laughs> uh, so Kai, help me out. <laughs> I'm not no Zen master, but I'm saying I don't go out of my way to harm people. Let's end it right there. Don't go out of your way to harm anybody. Yeah, and hard. avoid avoid harming anyone. Some people are conscious of their that what I'm about to do is going to harm this person and they go ahead and do it anyways. Mm -hmm. I'm saying try to refrain from that type of behavior as much as you can because it is going to come back to you. Yes. Right? And you might not care about the person you're harming, but you will care when you are being harmed. Yeah, when you're on the receiving end. Right. And a lot of the times when karma come around and I see people get that beaten there, they don't even know why they're getting that beaten there. The, mm -hmm. How come I can't do that with my left hand? I just realized something new about myself. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, they don't even know why. Yeah. And I'm speaking from experience. When you, you're like, man, nothing I touch going right. What the hell, my whole life I fall apart. There's some stuff you did from before to other people. And it came back to you. So I cleaned up my karma. And I decided seven years of bad luck and seven years of all that. Seven for me is a number of fulfillment. Alright, I'm going to come away from all that. And I'm going to try my straight part. Kind of that. As straight as I can. Then. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I encourage you to do the same. As straight as I can. No wobble sometimes, but me not lean. You know what I mean? <laughs> Alright. So, the next one is... Always forgive. Always forgive. Mm -hmm. Now. That's hard for me, bro. That's hard for me, too. Mm -hmm. That's that hard is, for me, too. That is... I can't, I can't sit here in front. That is, like... The thorn in my side to that always make, forgive. To makes me like if you would ask somebody what would make me a bad person, like it's forgiveness. Like I hold on to things for dear life. Yeah, and bring up old stuff when it's not necessary. <laughs> yeah. Put some of your business on. <laughs> Shut up. I, you, you did two years ago when you said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hold on to ev I don't know what it is about me and why I do it sometimes I literally have to go back and like write down like why I do what I do to like understand why I do it but forgiving I'll be like I'll keep that one till I'm dead see me I'm and it's, different and it's I, not I, good. I keep it pushing and it's not good I'm, it's, I'm different. I keep it pushing. Mm -hmm. It is not good. It's very much not It's good. very damaging. Yes, it is. Yeah, it got me mad. I'm vexed, cuz. 
No, but seriously though, that's dam that's damaging. Come on now. But personally, I try to just push on, and it. Yes, and it, he's been trying to force that kind of thinking and that kind of way on me. It takes practice. It yeah, takes practice. It takes like it, you have to be like. Mm. It takes practice to get up and say, you know what? Yesterday gone, mm -hmm. right? Tomorrow not promised. All I have is today. Let yeah. me do one hundred with today. Mm -hmm. That takes practice. A lot of people speak it, but when you start to actually live it, yeah. you're gonna see that your life is much better. Like training myself, I never got to that stage overnight, and I'm still not perfect with it. Yeah. But I could brush some stuff off, and when I'm ready, for instance, with me and her, when I'm ready to move on, she's still sulking about, I me mean, can't get no pum pum on Friday, and the fight was on Monday. That kind of thing, and I'm like, yo, that's four days ago. Like, get over it. No, I'm not like you. You hola, you just act like nothing never happened because it never happened. It's gone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's gone. <laughs> yeah. But and that's that. On a bigger note, always forgive. Yeah. But let me say this: there are some things that I could never forgive for. If you molested or touched one of my children, mm -hmm. I could never have find forgiveness in my heart in this lifetime to forgive someone for that. No, I'm looking for a life, yeah. right? Them kind of something that. Yeah. But when you think, when you're talking about, okay, a family member did me wrong or something like that, yeah. I don't have to be around them all the time. Yeah. I can forgive them and then love them from, from a distance, far. right? Yeah. They just taught me who they are. I accept that that's who you are. Live your life, party, and I wish you all the best. Mm -hmm. May I stay over here so I we have walked from we over here so. And if you need anything, I'll throw you a bone every now and then, but you can't eat at my table anymore. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the old man where they come in and party and fill up our bag with everything on the table. Yeah. You can't be that person anymore. <laughs> you stay over there. I'll throw you what I think I, I hear. See one chicken leg, y'all. <laughs> but you can't come get a whole chicken no more. Yeah. Like that. You can't come feasting, basically. Right. Us. So always forgive. That's very hard. Yeah. That one, they're very hard. I think I struggle with it. Yeah, a lot of people struggle with that. Yeah. And I struggle with that too, but I'm not I don't struggle with it at the level that yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah, true. I move on. Yeah, he right? moves on. I'm good by tomorrow morning. Yeah. I wanna get back to happy. Mm -hmm. I wanna get back to kissing, loving, babe, we shouldn't even fight like that and then I'm say, come here and mm -hmm, take off the clothes, that kind of thing. I wanna get back to being loving and happy. Life's short, man. Yeah. And then by the time you look around, oh he died last night unexpectedly, nobody know how yeah, and for the last four days we were arguing. Like life is short. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So always forgive. If not for them, for, for you. Because you don't walk around with this big old baggage on your back. Yeah. I'm mad at this person. I hate this person. I can't stand that person no more. I hate them forever. Like, forgive, let go, and peace out. Yeah. When people see you later on, they'll be like, yo, remember when time you didn't get... I don't even remember you. Mm -hmm. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Be that person. All right, number four. Do good. Do good and do as much good as you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it don't take good. It don't take a lot to do good for people. Mm -hmm. It. One time, I saw one lady. I walked late at night time. I mean, decides say, I, this back when I used to throw paper out. You know what I'm saying? And, and it was one of my jobs. And I see a lady out there late in the night. And I was like, may I get that lady here a ride because a woman shouldn't be out at this time of the night. Mm -hmm. The lady jumped in my car and me said, where you want me to drop you at? It was on my paper route in the middle of the night, early morning, like 3 o'clock in the morning. She was like, drop me down there to some trailer park, something. I said, all right, man, drop her down there. By the time my car took off about 50 feet, she pulled out her two titty them like this. Nipples pierced and everything. So, but I don't know why I threw that story in there. Just ran. <laughs> yeah, man, but I was trying to do good. Yeah. And. Yo, do good. I mean, I was yeah, the lady. I want crackhead. I want a prostitute. Yeah. So me, me kick her out of my car because I was scared and I actually thought, okay, so police are going to pull up on me now anyways. Yeah. So I kicked her out of my car, scurps, pull her out and kept going where I was going. But yeah, we do have good. A, we make, have, make we stick to the do good first. Yeah, we, we, have, have one. we have a lot of do good stuff coming up very soon. True. Yeah, very true. Yeah, so yes, do good. It don't cost much to do good. And when I say do good, I mean speak good off. If you can't encourage and inspire, don't say nothing. Mm -hmm. That kind of stuff. Don't beat nobody down with your words and disrespect them. I mean, if you're responding to someone that's hateful towards you, that's a different story. Yeah. That's self-defense. But don't purposely go out there tearing people down. It start with words and then actions. 
Yeah, so do good, man. Just do good. And it goes back to the whole karma thing again. It goes back to even saying good morning to somebody. True. Simple as that. Yeah, true. You can make somebody... Like the video that you put up with Elephant Man. And everybody was saying you made their day. Yeah. Like, something as simple as a video like that. Yeah, just some humor for the day. Yeah. Laughter, good for the soul. And big up to Elephant Man and big up to Beanie Man. I don't have no qualms with any of them. Yeah. And before you know it, Elephant Man and Beanie Man, I drink, party together, and I laugh after all that. Yeah. Because they're in the same entertainment industry and they've been there for the longest and they're closely connected, believe it or not. Yeah. But us on the outside might take it as, me not like you because you like Cartel and me not like you because you like Beanie Man and me like Bounty and me like this and it's it's the fans, yeah. right? But yeah, at the end of the day, make somebody laugh if you can, if you have the gift to. That's a gift in itself. Not a lot of people can make people laugh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some people just drive. I don't know why. And then some people just funny without even being funny. Yeah. But at the end of the day, yes, even just a courteous, hi, good morning, how you doing? Or you all right? I don't know, maybe because I work in that field. You all right this morning, Miss Smith? You hurting anywhere? Yeah, I don't know why I do that, even when they're not on my therapy list for the day. But just care about people. Do good. Yeah. And good will come back to you. Ten. Be a six. Yeah. You know, so I don't think that we're granny teacher. So yeah. we're little. Mm -hmm. Look at us grown people talking about stuff that they've been instilled in, instilling in us from we were like that little. Mm -hmm. Wow. Bless them up anywhere them there in that universe, man. Trust me. All right. And the last one is be positive. Talk, Nabia. That's your favorite thing. Be right? positive. Yeah. Yes. In all <laughs> situations, be positive. Always find a way to be positive. In the most negative situation, find positive in it. You'll be okay. You know what I'm saying? Always feel like... You see when time people stop being positive? I don't think that many people end up killing themselves in the because all they could see is the glass half empty. Mm. All they could see is doom and destruction and the end of life and the end of everything that's good. Yeah. And then bad, bad, bad starts start piling up in your head to the point where you feel like you're under pressure. And please don't think that, oh, I'm too strong, that can't happen to me. Mm -hmm. You're human. It has been psychologically, scientifically proven that it takes about one, two, to three traumatic events. Back to back. Back to back to push you over the edge. Yeah. It could be, bam, my mom just died. And you and your mom was close and it's the best thing ever happened to you in life. And bam, right behind her, you think you're that lean pan daddy and daddy passed away too. Mm -hmm. Like two months later. And you're like, I want to go on in my life. And then boom, your brother or sister or something else or one of your children. Like, things happen in life that we can't explain. Everything was good yesterday. How this just bam, 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 so I'm going out of my mind. Right? So you're human, man. We're, we're spiritual beings actually here having a human experience. That's what it is, first of all. And that's why sometimes you get that outer body experience there. Because this is your vessel. This is temporary, like when them people they say, me not like a tattoo, them in a dog. Or, or the woman will say, um, me like how Soflo talks, so I'm just listening, but me not watch the video them. Me just put it on and make it run, but me not look on him, because I hate the tattoo them. This is temporary, all this is temporary. Yeah. They're going to either cremate this or bury it somewhere. Mm -hmm. and, it but it's, it, yeah, it's, it's the, 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 the spiritual force within that is going to live on, depending on if you lived a good life, and you were actually here trying to love yourself, harm no one, always forgive, do good, and be a positive person. Yeah. Yeah? Positive no means say so you're not going to experience negative, negative things. Sometimes. It just means always try to find a positive in whatever is going on. Be an optimist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you see when people disrespect me online, let me tell you what I do. I like a secret. I just reel off videos. <laughs> I just bury myself in my work. I don't even ah, see people. Yeah. So... But seriously, just be a, what you said, be a optimist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, be an optimist, not a pessimist. Yeah. Do be positive. Yeah, man. In all things, be positive. <laughs> it, it is hard to do sometimes, yeah. especially when you're down at the bottom, but you can do it. So that brings us to the end of five steps for a happy life. And again, big up to Princess Zara. Because she's the one that I got this from. I follow her on Instagram and she posted it and I took it and said, hmm, this would be nice to discuss to, as an uplifting video for my audience. All right? Mm -hmm. Whatever y'all go through, you ain't never always the only one going, going through, through it. it. Yeah. Someone out there going through the exact same thing you're going through or even worse. All right? 
And remember that. Keep your head up. Love yourself. Love those around you. Keep your circle. <laughs> Signing. Alright. Uh, and yeah. be blessed. I'm out. Deuces. Peace.